back at it with your boys, Cass and Dom. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look back over last year's anniversary logins and over the new year events and see the new things that the third anniversary could possibly have. Right, Dom? Yeah. All right, let's kick it off with the login first. The login seems pretty straightforward, right? So, um, five days logging in, you get yourself three Hogekus, three Hogeku wheels, which again isn't bad. Maybe they can change it a little bit. And maybe for a couple of breaks, so tickets in there. I don't know. Sweet in the deal, just a little bit. 10 days logged in, so that's five spirit rolls per day, 50 spirit rolls right there, which is good. But the most important part is 15 days logging in, five star ticket. Five star ticket. Could you imagine what you get from there? Hmm? A brand new five star character. Yes, that's more spirit orbs. Also, on the second anniversary, they introduced. A five star summons ticket pack, which was good, don't get it wrong. But now let's go over to the new year where they introduced three different packs one with accessory, which was good with a chance of pulling a gold accessory. You had a second pack which had good character, but then you had the ultimate, the gold pack, which had really good characters but a high price. Oh my god, he boy, he had it was a 585, but man. The characters in there at the time were good, but how about this? Bring back the accessory pack, no problem. Bring back the second pack, pack number two, which is the, which is the medium one, which is gonna have some really good characters in there. Like, so I don't know, um, Yamamoto, Ryukin, those kind of characters which you can actually viably use, but if you're gonna have a third pack, and you know round four manga's gonna be dropping, how about have, I don't know, Thousand Year Blood War pack? I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. It might just be really good. Oh, if you're not gonna do that, maybe a movie pack. I think that would be good. I mean, that's doable. Sh that is really doable. If you think about it really logically right now, because all the movie characters are out now, right? That's something they could do. Now that would make it really worth it. I'm just saying, three packs. Bring it on. I know you're thinking, you're looking at this right now thinking, hold up Cass! Was this a part of the second anniversary? No, it wasn't. It was a part of the new year, but what? Tell me you never pulled a fire star from this. A free daily Ichigo Kurosaki summons. It was a single summon every day you guys could do at reset. I pulled that guy. Dom, you pulled that guy. I think everybody pulled that guy. I don't, who were really guy for was Tacti Mishko. But yes, if they were to implement this in the anniversary, it would be a good way to get away from your normal summons of spending 25 spirit orbs and to summon here and get an Ichigo. I think it's worth it. I mean, anniversary Ichigo is in here. Full bring Ichigo. Tag team Ichigo. Did the charge you could get him. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not the best chance in the world. But yeah, at least you're guaranteed if it is a five star, it's going to be one of the four. So I say, you know what? Bring this back. Next. We need a very hard mode to story mode because there's a lot of people out there that have finished normal, hard, and now we need another way to get spirit orbs. So the whole story thing, let's get it very hard. That way we can accumulate more orbs again one more time because right now it is getting really hard. To, farming events is one thing, maxing that character is another. But when you're done with that, where else do you go? We can look for a harder story mode. Resetting co-op orbs. That's something that everybody wants, all right? Because when you start the game, you play with 100 people, 100 different people, you get three orbs per person, so that's 300 spirit orbs. And then just last year, they uh, added to that. So then you could get all together 600 by playing with 200 people. Now, I think it's time we're able to get another 300. Please, Caleb. Uh, so we don't mind playing with 300 different people, right, Don? Yeah, let's get some orbs that way. <laughs> wait, wait, and, and we're making new friends. Talking about friends, Dom. Friends list. Hmm. I like the way it is right now, but you know what I'd really like? If they were to increase the friend list by 100. Not by 10, not by 50, but by 100, please. All right, friends points, and on top of that, you know the friends points, we've got, we got the um, a limit. Increase that limit. You know, if you're going to increase the limit a little bit, it'll be nice because you've got so many friends that want to friend you. They want to play. They want to use your character in-game. So let people do that. So, Caleb, if you're good, let's get 
um, 200 people on our friends list, I think that would be a great move forward. Attribute specific accessory tickets. We have this right now on Extreme Co-op and it's, it's good. There's a few people that pull gold accessories. Unfortunately, you did not. Neither did I. But you can. So um, what we say is if during the anniversary, coming up now, third anniversary, I'm sure they're going to implement this because it was around last year. So attribute specific accessory tickets, they've got a much better chance of pulling a gold accessory than you have with normal premium summons tickets. The rates just seem a little bit better. I'm not saying they're as good as I'm a new summon for characters that brave soul tickets. These tickets here just seem like if you summon a lot at once, there's a higher chance you could get them. Hey, you can get them a single as well. But I like the way to do this. You could do this in single player mode. You could I'm gonna collect these tickets through co-op as well by, by playing with your friends. I mean, it makes it worthwhile. So ladies and gentlemen, and lastly, during the new year, we had Global and JP doing daily orders to get rewards. And those rewards you had to collect within 48 hours. That was really good. But this time around, how about we got Global and JP come together as one, complete these orders and get even more rewards. I think that would be amazing let us know what you guys think about all this stuff in the comment section below because there's a lot of ideas there that we could be throwing in into a third anniversary again your thoughts we need to know if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead right now smash that like button share this video with your friends and family subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that's your boy dom this is your boy cast this is your boy cast